Hey everybody, Curse is here. Welcome back to Cultist Simulator. So honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This game has stolen my life lately. And I, I just don't know what to say. Like, I keep playing this, even though, like, I know it's like a total time eater. Now, if you saw my last video, I showed you guys basically how to kind of max out your three stats that you need right away. But the one thing I was I was always confused about was everything else. Like starting your cult, what you need to do, your your uh, your overall end game goal, which one of those is your temptation here. But uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, everything else. So really quick, I'm just gonna give it really quick. After you max out, we're starting off here right after we max out all of our uh, stats. Now I'm maxing out the reason stat and I'm going to show you how you do it right now is you from the stores from either Moreland shop, which after a while it closes after you buy so much from it. Uh, and from the auction house, you'll pick up these collections of essays here. These these uh, things right here. You want to keep these because these will let you max out your uh, your reason real fast. And so you're just going to study it and then we're, we're just going to you know, get the, the fourth uh, erudition lesson learned. All right, so now we have that. We have four erudition lessons learned. We have the profound scholarship ability. We're gonna put it in there, we'll put these in there. And now what you need, you need something more. You need a lore piece that is magnitude six or better. And I have one right here. Oh, this one doesn't do it. That's not good. Um, oh, I think the Waking Chant is uh, level 6 also. So hold on. Well, that doesn't work either. Oh, no. Really? Oh, okay, whew. That's only uh, number 4. Huh. Okay, so you can use a Lantern of rank 4 or better. Which is fine. Do, 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 do. And by the way, in between time, you're always going to be using your painting to make money. Okay? Use painting to make money in this game. Lots of painting. You do lots of painting for, for a while. And you'll get the rare find mind skill. Another reason. And of course, the uh, piece of lore back. And there we go. So now the next thing you want to do, even before you start starting your cult, is start combining things. Specifically your, um, your lore, your lore pieces. I'm going to show you how to do some lore comb combinations right now. So we're going to take these two furtive troops and we're going to start studying them. And uh, whenever you get a restlessness, it after the timer goes down on that, it turns into a dread. So you want to get rid of it. The best way to get rid of it is just to use painting. Painting will get rid of the restlessness. It'll consume it. Anyways, though, and eventually after the timer hits here, it's going to want... It's going to start telling you it needs things. It'll either need an educational, um, like an, the knowledge challenge here, which I think. Wait, really? I thought the ref I mind could do it. For real? Oh, that's poopy. Okay. Okay, so let's try that again. So I'll take the furtive truths. And actually, and I'm gonna throw a glimmering in there, just in case uh, I need it. Do -do 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 -do. Thank you. And also, you're gonna—I'm gonna show you one of the uh, basic mistakes I make too. 
Yep, so once the yeah, once the air edition. <clears throat> Which is just fine. Do, 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 do. Hurry up. And uh, that, uh, that's, I'm just going to show you. And it has to be two scrap pieces uh, that are the same uh, same level. So these are two level four scraps, I think. But, anyways, but they're going to turn into a level six scrap of lore. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So those were two level fours. And they turned into the Forgotten Chronicle, which is a level six scrap. And and you can explore with these scraps of knowledge, uh, specifically these scraps of knowledge, the occult scraps, and they will give you locations in which to do uh, uh, exploration, which is fine. But you don't need to do explorations. Just I'm just showing you how to get locations to explore. And I have 20 funds here, so I can I can let some money just kind of roll off here. Yeah, but I do need to get some some mistakes so I can make money. So I got this Cater and Hero Limited. This is a just an abandoned building or something like that. But you would send your cultists to out here to go and find stuff. But I'll put that up here for now. So now what we need now. Oh, and I have a restlessness. We're going to get rid of that. Thank you. All right. So now we have a pretty good uh, set here. But actually, I want to combine these other uh, scraps here, actually. But not yet. Actually, there is one thing I can do to bypass the uh, knowledge challenge if it ever comes up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the cult. So I need this. I'm going to start the cult based on any of the lore scraps here. But the best lore scrap to start the cult off of is the occult. Or the, uh, basically, it's like a, a cult based on knowledge. Because these are the most common scraps of knowledge you will get. And I'm going to put that down there. All right. Wait, why did I get Mystique? What did I put in there and gave me a mystique? I don't know. Anyway. One, two, and buckle my shoe. All right. All right, I got Cat Carol, that's fine. Now, we're gonna go ahead and start our cult. So we're just gonna boop, 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 boop. All right, so we get notoriety. All right, I've begun my true work. <laughs> Choose the founding principle. The founding principle is going to be this. And I'll show you guys why. Because like I said, it's the most common cult, cult scraps to get. But also at the same time, Uh, it's easier to level up these scraps of knowledge. Oh, uh, what do I gotta get? Oh, reason. Okay. Do 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 do. And then I gotta get rid of. Uh... Right, that's my first recruit. Okay. And of course, always just keep on using. Painting. Oh, I don't need that. All right. Anyway, so we got Cat Caro, a believer. Got my Forgotten Chronicle back. Temporary headquarters and the Society of Hydra, which is what we want. Now, if I were to try to make Cat Caro a uh, promoted disciple, I would need a uh, lore scrap of magnitude eight or better. This is magnitude six. And like I said, to do this now, uh, what's her uh, stats by the way? She's a uh, lantern. Okay. 
So in order to do that, I need to upgrade, but really quick here. We're gonna go ahead and let the, uh, <clears throat> changing uh, the location to the uh, bookstore, our headquarters to the bookstore take up our notoriety here. It's just easier that way. And like I said, just keep on making money with painting. Do 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 and there we go. And we got the room behind the bookshop. This is this will let you bypass uh, knowledge uh, challenges when combining scraps. So I'll just show you. Anyways, though, and also you need to get more books so you can get more uh, scraps. Now, generally, late in the game, you are going to only get books through uh, expeditions like this. But for now, you can go ahead and go to the auction house. You just start the auction house without selling something, and you can put money in there to get it. Now, what do we need? We need an outlet challenge. We can use the bookstore to bypass that. And if it needs a glimmering afterwards, I have that. And then, of course, we just keep on making money. And we got a book. Uh, okay, it looks like I can read it without having to prepare it. But we have a restlessness. Awesome. Gotta get rid of that. Always get rid of restlessness because it turns into dread. You don't need dread. That was a furtive truth. That's nice, actually. Oh, wait. Yeah. Never mind. Anyway, though, we'll go ahead and start. Uh... Um... Damn it. Oh, cool. I do have a glimmering. And then, of course, whenever this happens, you just need to use your ability to work. Oh, what do we need? Oh, it's another knowledge challenge. Good. Do 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 do. Anyway. And you can also actually get more of these regular occult scraps. Oh, wait. Well, okay. That's fine, actually. Because this has a timer on it, a big timer. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right, and I need, do need, uh, well, yeah. We need to get more cultists. So we have two furtive truths now. And I'm gonna need a glimmering. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah, that is actually kind of ASMR for me. I don't know why. But anyway, so, but you can get occult scraps through this, or I can try to hit one of these and see if this is a better occult scrap, but I'll just take this one. And it'll be over here. Because this is always good, because I can always just uh, search with that and get a better location. Do, 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 do. And then we have two furtive truths. These are both uh, magnitude six. We can create a magnitude eight now. Do 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 do. do. You know, anyways, you need the magnitude eight. Um, oh no, that goes to magnitude six, and then these go to magnitude eight. Anyway, you need a magnitude eight or better to promote your believers into disciples. What do we need? Knowledge. There you go. There's your knowledge. 
Okay, we got a hanger. Hangers are very, very worthless minions. But at least you can get that, use them. Anyway, we'll keep on trying to get more, uh, more minions. But do 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 do. We're just gonna con combine these. Uh, do I have a glimmering? Okay, cool. I have one I can use. Anyways, we'll start combining these up now. This will get us our magnitude eight lore piece. Count Jannings, he's actually useful. This is not a minion, but this is something that will let you make more money rather than just painting. So like if I go go to Count Jannings, he's gonna tell, you, tell me what he wants. He has a commission for heart, which means if I have a, a heart that is magnitude six or better, and I think I do, yes. And then I can turn it into something that he'll give me a Spintria for. Spintrias are basically something you sell at the auction house and get a lot more money for. And you produce a lot less mystique when you do this. And you need just one reason and boom, there you go. And I'll show you, that's how you get a Spintria. What do we need now? Intuition. Thank you. Oh, this takes forever, I know, but this game is so much fun and I don't know why. Anyways, and after you're done with that, boom, you get a this and you take the commission back. And then you put the, the count up here along with his commission and the thing you gave him. And there you go. He gives you this iron spin trail, which is worth two money in the shop. And he'll be back in 120 seconds, which basically it, he paid for his two minutes with that spin trio. So you just go to the shop here and you sell it. Boom. And I'll get two, two money for that. And that's, that's 120 seconds worth of uh, time. Anyways, we got the Forbidden Epic, which is all we needed. So now we put this in here, along with her and that. And I think find an appropriate aspect to cult, at least the seventh intensity, what? Yeah, but this is eighth. But this is what my cult is made off of. Oh, do these ones not count? That doesn't make sense. Okay, maybe these ones don't count then. Huh. That's fine. Anyways, and I see after that, boom, and I, the auction house actually turned out four money instead of two. Four is generally a high roll for iron spintrias. Four is a normal for bronze spintrias, and eight is a normal for silver spintrias. So, I just need... to okay i i know what i i can do what do you need intuition okay so if i go to the auction shop and i'm like sell that it'll give me four gold for it and you don't have to you know create more mystique by painting See? Awesome. And I'll sell this iron one too. Do, 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 do. Oh, what do you need now? Knowledge? Illumination. Okay, yep. I need the rare fine mind. Which is why you need to upgrade your reason all the way up. Ah, oh, bastard. Anyways. So we got it. Finally. 
I don't think I can use the magnitude four for substantial, but I'll check. Oh, I can. Awesome. Anyway, we got the moldy warp uh, admonitions, which is a magnitude eight uh, moth aspect. And now we can go to Society of Hate, St. Hydra. And there we go. And we can move her up to a disciple with that. It won't let you do it with the regular scraps. I guess that's because they're too easy to level up. And I guess that makes sense. All right. And then we got to get rid of this. But anyways, though, now you need more cultists. So always keep your your cult card and your Right, this just teaches me what I already know, right? Yep, okay, that's it. That gives you the Greek scholar ability. You don't need that. So we'll just sell that. Always keep your cult card and the card you need to upgrade your disciples with nearby. Hmm. Oh, okay, these are generic scraps. I get it. The rest of them are important. Now that we have a good amount of acquaintances here, I just have to turn them all into cult members. And we will end uh, disciples. And then I'll show you guys a really quick how to do one of these uh, things here. Okay. So now that we have a whole bunch of disciples now, uh, I have laid them out by their um, attributes. That's what I was looking for, attributes. So I have Forge, Lantern, Moth, Heart, Knock. Yeah, I, was, uh, I forgot what that one is. Winter and Edge. And that was also not a bad idea to... To also have a generic hanger. Um, being a uh, disciple as well. So really quick, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and start this uh, expedition here. So you need to pick two people, one leader, one, you know, one assistant. So I'll just choose the first two, because you're never really going to know what you're going to come across in these. So we're just going to get started. Do, 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 do. Waiting, 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 and waiting. Three, two, one, nothing. All right. So now we're going to take a look at what obstacle they may, obstacle or obstacles they may come across. So treacherous ground, pits and quags, and sun tumbles. The earth here cannot be trusted. We need someone's strong hands or... Strong hands or clear sight, forge or lantern. So actually, I already have one guy who's strong in forge there, but we can have another. So we'll send another. And persistent disciple is lantern with a little bit of edge. We'll just uh, put him over here. There we go. And now completing a, um, we invoked uh, an hour of forge as well as winter. We'll make our own path, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We'll see what happens. I don't need anybody else, probably. We're mud spattered and thorn scratched, but we made it through, okay.
And generally, like I said, you're just gonna use painting to get rid of restlessness. So don't turn it into dread. Uh, anything else though? Do we need anything else? Uh, doesn't look like it. This is a pretty simple uh, expedition. Yep, okay, so they, they got their uh, they got their prize, so we're gonna see what we get as soon as they are done. All right. So let's put our guys back in order. We get notoriety, but I think I can get rid of it. A fund and him. Yep, okay. Excellent. And now we'll see what kind of goodies we got here. A bronze spin trio, which is interesting. A book, which is interesting. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is a tool for uh, rights. So we'll put that up here with the rights. This is a paint pigment. I can put it over here. And this is another, oh, another location. How interesting. Huh. All right, so the book, let's take a look at the book. It's written in Latin. So I need to prep it. And then the other location here, um, oh. Oh, we can move our base of operations here. Interesting, okay. But anyway, um, what I need now is someone with heart, like Clovet here. We're gonna talk to Clovet, and we're gonna talk to him about us. Now, basically, this invoke you talking to them about the cult invokes their attributes ability. Okay, which for heart means that they can possibly get rid of notoriety if you have it. And they will automatically uh, magnet it in. And we will see what's in that book here. And hopefully they'll get rid of it. And they did. Optimism is a spice which saves. So, okay, we don't have that notoriety anymore, which is good. I swear, they put animations either that or i'm going crazy right from playing this game too much but they put animations that rarely go off on the cards so you'll see a card blank or smile at you and then quickly go back to being being normal right am i am i right on that like like if you're watching do you see that or am i just crazy Okay, so if I ever need to get rid of notoriety, I guess I can just go ahead and use this abandoned warehouse. Uh, ooh. What is that? That is rank six. That is awesome. Anyway. So, like, if I could use another occult scrap. And we can search. And by the way, the next video, by the way, the next video I'm going to make here is going to be about the, um, the ways. This gets complicated and weird. All right. I have a lot of funds, too. So we're going to go ahead and search for a new location. I find an unexplained reference to Heeb in my research. Huh. Well, we'll find out what Heeb is. Do, 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 do. Ooh, it looks like a boat. Interesting. So let's go. Again, we'll just start off with two people because I really don't know what we're going to come across. And the detective can go screw off. All right. What are we coming across here? 
Uh, forge or knock? Okay, I have forge. And then I think I'm going to need... All right, for watchers, I think I need... I just need... Um, Fought, seduced, or deceived. So yeah, it means I can use anyone with moth or edge. Which I'll use edge. And this guy has a little bit of uh, a couple things. Uh, strong and forge will probably be fine. Okay, good. Actually, you know what, let me take you off. And put you in, you're the other forge guy. I'll just guarantee it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but here, all right, cool. And then we'll move the other guy with the edge. And they're preparing for the next. Oh, come on. Really? And then another video, I will talk about the temptations, which is also linked to the ways, I think. Wait, no, we, we need uh, this. All right. They're not ready for us. All right. Their blood pumps bright dark. Okay, cool. So they succeeded. Do, 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 do. Supplies are low, so I just have to give them one more fund. <laughs> All right. Well, almost certainly shatter this warded door. Actually, I think I gotta give him one more fun, too. Doors have two purposes to open and remain closed. Today, this door remains true to its second purpose. Damn it. Well, try again. You bunch of wusses. Oh, and there's another restless. Oh, damn it. This guy, he's going to grab that notoriety as soon as it pops out. <sighs> okay, shatter the door, please. Or maybe, maybe he'll be done. Okay, they open the door. Okay, yeah, cool. The detective is done looking. And then all doors open. Yep, yep. And yep, and they have money, so they're good to go. And there's a few passenger. There are a few passengers on board. No wonder. Okay. Anyway, all right. Time for the prizes. Mm -mm. Notoriety is not a prize. Uh, anyway. There you are. Okay. I'm sorry. I like to re make sure they stay. Uh, <laughs> re no. I like to make sure they stay in their spot. And Tristan was what? Forge. Okay. All right. Time for the prizes here. Interesting stuff. So what is this? Written in Sanskrit, okay. Right, yeah. What's this? Written in Sanskrit, all right. What's this? Sanskrit? And Sanskrit, okay, cool. I can prepare all three of these. Or all four. First book gave me... Oh, another shard to that, that's good. Anyway, and then read. 
Oh, and by the way, you can su successfully hide Mystique from the investigator when they first, uh, when they start investigating. I'll show you how, if it happens. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, an eight forge. I put that right there. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Now, next thing that's going to happen here is he's going to grab grab the mystique. So go for it. Three, two, one, stop. We're going to go into painting. Grab all the mystique. And start painting. And now, by the time the painting is done, he should he should be gone. Or he should be looking for evidence, rather. Yeah, he'll be looking for evidence. Meaning the mystique, the mystique won't keep him around. I right, am reading book. This gave me, ooh, ooh, yes, 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 yes. I need that. Because I have this very substantial commission that requires it. Do, 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 do. Oh, and one more. Do, 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 do. And I have more missing. And he's gonna get it. Eh. Oh well. The colonel's names. But anyway. Give me my silver spintria, please. And a waking chant. Awesome. And there you have it. And then we'll just use Poppy to grab a commission, which I probably won't be able to fulfill, but you never know. Nope, you can't fulfill a knock commission. Because I have, only have a crappy knock uh, lore piece. But anyways, that is all the time I have for right now. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell, punch that like button, because the next video is going to be about the ways and how you're going to go up this path of complicatedness. <laughs> so anyways, I'll thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.